Scott Nicholson in the blue corner versus Linda Lecker in the red. 34 from Peru. She's a 34 year old, but she is a former world champion. And what would you like to see from her opponent, Scott Nicholson, this evening? Well, she's come out straight away. She's found her range, touched the target a few times with a jab. And I always like seeing that because there's some fighters that get in the ring, probably most fighters. That every single shot has to have that same intensity that flies out, that same sort of effort. And when you've got a fighter that's comfortable enough to get to the edge of range, touch you a couple of times, and then maybe try and find a shot, it's that control. I know I use the same words quite a few times, composure. That's the sort of thing that would I would want to see from Sky to give longevity to Curry. She's had such a good amateur career, and it's really about settling through the rounds. For female, I think it is a little bit easier as the fights are a bit shorter. You're right, she did have a glittering amateur career. Numerous titles of Commonwealth Games. Being one of the highlights. Boxing nicely here, there's some real aggression shown on the front foot, creeping forward and six and oh now. And there seems to be a little bit of criticism and it seems a little harsh to me if I'm honest because she's winning fights at a canter, but a lot of people are asking for us to get a bit closer, try and close the show in style. She has dropped a couple of opponents, but do you think that would be playing on her mind, Barry? Barry? Back, uh, Sonny. Sorry, it was the wires through me. I thought it was the, the high. I the high, the, the, the high level. Um, um, but the, the, the fact that she hasn't stopped an opponent yet, do you think it would be playing on her do mind? You know, do you know what it is? To be perfectly honest, if you want some bed night, um, nighttime reading, go and look at Sky Nicholson's box rec, the amateur section. She's got so many fights on there that, like, 150, 160, 170 fights. She spent a lot of time around the world boxing. She has found her rhythm of what works for her. She gets in the ring, doesn't always try and adjust to what the other person's doing. She establishes her identity in the ring. And because of that, we might see 30, 40, 50 professional fights where she's in control, composed, edge of range, scoring constantly, tagging them when she can, making them miss. Because that's her style, that's what worked, that's what's given her success. Would I want to see Sky go win a world title, boxing how she fights, 100%. Yeah. I would rather that than see and try and change because of outside pressures, social media, yada yada, etc. etc. Well, there is the, the hard hitting Jordan Thompson now being trained by Tony Sims, and already it strikes me as a very good partnership. Obviously, having been trained by Tony for 11 plus years, I know what great trainer he is, and here's the experience. Luke Watkins, 33 from Swindon. Corners, 10 been seconds. He's been in with some very good fighters. He's very dangerous. And I'll tell you what, Sonny, he's very confident. He's been some good fighters. I mean, without quickly pulling up his box track, he's been in what, Akoli, Chamberlain. Watkins has mixed it and uh, levels going up towards them before that level. So he's quite seasoned. OK, maybe in his biggest fights, he wasn't a winner. But that's a good fight tonight. Yeah, good one to look forward to. And that's opening the show. On the main broadcast on the zone from 7 p.m. this evening. Back to this one, Sky Nicholson on the front foot. She's controlling the range and the distance nicely. Linda Lecker, seen her in the past. She is awkward. She slips, she slides, and she's she's proving that this evening in this second round. Yeah, but if I'm coaching a fighter, if I'm involved with a fighter, boxing like this in complete control, maybe not teeing off big shots, but not much danger coming back, and when it does, taking it off, being the one pressure, being the one pushing the front foot forward, looking like you're in control, as well as outscoring. For me, this is a perfect a perfect performance for where she's in her career and also where she wants to go. A loss at this stage would be completely derailing, be completely left, right and centre. Maybe when she gets the world title, maybe when she gets the big events, then she can start stamping her identity, the excitement, the showbiz. But it, while this is her life and getting there means everything to her and the 15, 20, 25 years she's dedicated to sport and other fighters have, it means too much to, I don't know, halfway through the second round, Let's go well, hell guns blazing. Yeah. Especially for a fighter as good as Sky. It would certainly be a, a good scout on the record for Sky Nicholson beating a former world champion, though way past her best in the lecker. Look, you can see she knows what she's doing, but that's good work from Sky Nicholson. She went wide with the lead hand, followed the, the back hand up straight down the middle, looking for it again, arcing it round, just missing, hitting the, the right 
hand of Lecker, who's on the back foot again, proving difficult to catch cleanly. That was a nice straight left to the chest of Lecker. Another one in the, the bag for Sky Nicholson. Yeah, a good round for Sky. And I think this is another case point example of what we have now is a generation of female fighters that have done the same amateur background as most of the male fighters. They've started when it was 9, 10. They've done all the amateur system and gone international and been a full-time boxer as an amateur. And what we're doing now, we're getting fighters. I've only had five or six fights in Sky. But then you're having a fight that might have been on the old guard. Probably didn't have the amateur background, the experience. They had the pros. They had them that trajectory of career, which is why she's got a few losses and why she might not be as technically as good as Sky. But why I say that is what we're about to hit is a level where all of these career athletes, just athletes, female fighters, are all going to start meeting each other. One example, I think Chantel Cameron, Katie Taylor. Sky will probably have three. many fighters when it gets to that level. But I think every single time we're seeing someone that's had that, you know, experience in the female divisions especially, the skill gap is often too much at the moment. Honestly, Sonny, I cannot wait for that fight in Dublin. But you're right, we will see more depth in these divisions in the female game. There are some real stars in the divisions. I mentioned two of them, Taylor, Chantel Cameron, two shining stars. Can Sky Nicholson be one of those? Boxing nicely, she controls the distance so well, doesn't she, Sonny? Yeah, and there's also a lot of storylines now. Because we've seen the fighters, we've seen them fight, you know? Now there's interest in, in female weight divisions across the board, which, you know, there wasn't the, there wasn't a built-up promotion for it now, but now we know all the fighters. That, that, and in boxing, that's the only thing that matters, yeah. knowing both of the fighters. You can build fights, build shows, and... Scott Nicholson's showing us some good work there with that left hand to the body and again to Linda Lecker. Seems unfazed. That was a lovely shot upstairs. Affected her as well. You could see the wince in her face then um, from this close up from Lecker. Yeah, she's holding the center of the ring. She's been dominant on the front foot, Sky Nicholson. She's always thinking. She doesn't waste much. And that's what makes her good. She controls the range and she has the advantage on it. And, you know, fans would be saying, well, she should be loading up more or trying to hurt her. But, but every single time that she's really going to try and hurt her opponent, she's going to be giving away that percentage. She's going to have to load up with a shot. She's going to have to fall in maybe if she comes off balance. She's going to give an opening to get caught. She is giving probably as close to 0% chance to lose this fight as possible. And for me, looking at a fighter, that's longevity. That's legacy. That's success. That's world honours. Why make this sport any harder than it has to be? If you can win like this at Kanta, then continue. And she's boxing nicely here. That's another round in the bag for Sky Nicholson. In the lecker, looking a little confused. And exactly, why would you make... Why, why would you... Here's a good friend of yours, Sonny, Zelfa Barrett, looking confident, looking relaxed, composed and ready for what is an important night for him against Jason Sanchez, who's a very good fighter. He's, he's proved himself at a level, and here he is alongside his brother. He looks confident this week, and it's an it's important must-win fight for Zelfa, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, at this stage of your career, everything's not a hundred times um, compared to the six rounders you were doing on the small wall circuit. Um, yeah, very good friend of mine. Well, Zelfa, a few other seconds. friends in the back. Um, no, we're not going to say no name. But uh, bumped into Pat Barrett in the hotel as I got in. Round very, four. very, um, very confident, very Pat-esque. You know, he's there, they're here, they're here to do a mission, no nonsense stuff, and yeah, looking forward to it. Back into the fourth round, Sky Nicholson versus Lecco. Yeah, she's back to centering. Sky Nicholson, you can see the concentration in those eyes, always waiting for the, the chance to pounce on an opening. She's just measuring with that lead hand, looking for the backhand, that left hand just missing over the top of the head of Linda Lecker. You see how she tries to draw the lead out of her opponent, Sky Nicholson. She does carry that lead hand low and it tries to give her, you know, the, the, the opponent the chance to sort of land a shot, but she's got razor sharp reaction, Sky Nicholson. So she fires back. So you can see what she's trying to do, trying to bait Lecker mm. into letting her hands go. But 
Like I said before, numerous times, she is a former world champion, Linda Lecker, a long time ago, but still, she has that pedigree, she has that know-how. And like you said just at the end of the last round before, Zelfa rudely interrupted. Why would you make, no, no, seriously, why would you make the hardest sport in the world, go on Google, anyone watching, hardest sport in the world is boxing on every single leash you could ever imagine, and I genuinely believe that. Why would you make that sport harder? Why would you? I think this guy's doing a brilliant job again. Yeah, but Groovy, Sunny, boxing nicely. Like I said, doesn't weigh too much, doesn't doesn't tend to go through the gears, Sky Nicholson, but she's very accurate, very spiteful with those shots. And that was, I said it in the, the ring walk. She has dropped a couple of opponents through precise, sharp punching. And you know what I think you'll find? As the rounds go up, I think the confidence in the fight, the control in the fight is going to increase. Um, and then you are going to see the stoppages, because already here now, she is sitting on that backhand a bit more. She's trying to get her um, lead foot outside um, the orthodox stance of Linda Lecker, and she's trying to really whip those big backhands through the middle. Yeah, going through the gears a little bit more, sitting down on the shot slightly. Scott Nicholson still remaining very hard to catch, so quick on the, the feet and boxing nicely. Well, she doesn't give you a chance. She's edging her opponent back, but on her reach, on her range, she's pouring out of that lead hand, that jab, and when she wants to try and just score a little shot to keep busy, she's keeping busy, and that's how she's winning every moment. Because when she does want to, you know, take that split second to pick, it's not like nothing's happening or lift the letters, um, you know, on the ascendancy. No, Sky's still in control. She's still got her, her pose, she's still got her stance, and she's backing her opponent up and landing. So, like I said before, last Round, it's still the same this round. You know, if it's a poker hand, it's 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 popping up on the screen right now, it's 99 to 1, and that's being generous for me right now. With the, what, what Seconds up, round 5. Yeah, great start to the fight from Sky Nicholson. To the fifth round already gone very quickly. Tend to these two-minute rounds in the female game. In the lecker trying to... It's frustrating. Yeah, she is. She's just falling short. And look, there's been a lot of... You know, people saying, well, what will, or how will Sky Nicholson cope when someone's on her chest and in the leg of just spinning around then? But how, will, yeah, how will she cope when someone's on her, in her face? Well, yeah, I guess, you know, her footwork is so good, Sky Nicholson. Will she ever get in a position where she has an opponent on her, swarmed all over her constantly for a duration of a fight. And she's big for the weight as well, and she doesn't seem not sturdy, she doesn't seem fragile when she's in the ring, not any ring I've seen her in. Um, and to be fair to Linda Lecker, I don't think she's the worst. I don't think the work she's actually put in is, is that bad. I think what's happening is she's trying to hold her feet where she normally would in boxing, and then she's getting hit with a jab. Like she's trying to she's trying to set up where she normally would to find her range, but she just can't get the parameters. Yeah, right. every, everything is on Sky's terms at the minute. The, the distance, she's got impeccable time in Sky Nicholson, and that left hand has really been so hurtful. She changes up the level of the shot really well to head and body, and she's put the foot on the gas here, trying to close the, the show in style. Maybe she has heard some of the, um, I want to use the term loosely, but criticism about how she just stayed behind the jab, stayed, you know, monotonously boxing through. Maybe she is trying to, or maybe the confidence is growing, where now she believes in her engine, because she's been six rounds before, she's been... So maybe that's why we're seeing the growth. But I, 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 this is probably the most impressed I've seen of Sky, and probably the hardest opponent she's been in with again. Yeah, like I said, former world champion, Lekka, a long time ago, but she knows how to fight, she's tough, she's game. It's a very good fight, and there's that lovely left hand again, taking the head off line and straight down the guard of Linda Lecker. It's been impressive so far from Sky Nicholson. Right in a little bit, Sky. Right? 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 Eddie Lamb, he knows his boxing inside out. She's trying to nick up Some of the action here, Sonny. Yeah, again, look at the range. Look at the confidence. Look at the focus. She stays in the fight the whole time. She gets her shoulders and her levers just in range. And she lands. She gets them just in range. She lands. She might have to hold her feet if her feet are already there. Or she'll step in. She's confidently stepping in. I think she can get out before the reaction's coming back. And I'd be very inclined to agree with her. I think she's dominating. Maybe not physically imposing every bit of will she could. 
but like I said, the control is the most impressive. Corners, 10 Being seconds. A, you know, a 16, 18, 20 foot square and keeping someone that at your mercy, seconds that out. at your Round base, six. Is, is a hard thing to do. Like you, you have to be a certain level of good fighter to be able to do that against anyone, let alone someone that's been there, you know, maybe a bit more experienced, etc., etc. Yeah, impressive stuff so far from Scott Nicholson. Can she put her foot on the gas? Will she? Will she close the show? Will she stop a former world champion? She's creeping forward. She's trying to draw that lead out again. That left hand is hitting the gloves once more. From Sky Nicholson, she's taking them well. Lecker, I mean, she's been caught a couple of times. I don't think anything's really troubled her so much, but it's just been a very dominant display so far from Sky Nicholson, changing the angles, the levels with the shots, confusing the former champion. She's just frustrated, doesn't she, yeah. Lecker? But, 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 but like I said, I don't think, I don't think she's the, the, the worst we've seen. I think she's genuinely quite a good fighter, just not good enough. I think Sky is too sharp. I think her, her reach and her advantages, she's using them too well. But when she does have to move and get out of the way or get out of a bit of trouble, Linda Lecker, she's doing it. Like, she's being a hard enough target to hit. She's not, not just taking levers after levers, but how does she change this? She needs to land, she needs to land clear. But is she a big enough puncher that if she does land in the sky, it's going to change the fight? I don't think so. Well, holding all the marbles in the division is the great Amanda Serrano. And I mean, look, it's a, it's a tough one to ask this because you're talking about one of the marquee names in the division, one of the big names in women's boxing. But how far do you feel she is away from one? OK, look, firstly, a world title and then those big names. Do you know what it is? I think, as we said before, the skill gap is not as... Um, wide from prospect level to world champion that's why we're seeing you know certain fighters winning world titles four fights five six fights in getting a couple of opportunities but that is just the, the, the nature of the beast that we've got right now um, but genuinely the experience that she's got and the promise that she's showing in the control and also if we're talking about serrano specifically okay forget the um, you know the amount of rounds in a professional ring take that out of the equation I'm favoring a lot of Sky's attributes, her height, her range. Um, okay, yeah, she's not been there and proved it. And here's your good friend, Zelfa Barra, in a, in a good, intriguing contest against Jason Sanchez. A lot on the line, especially for, for Zelfa. I mean, don't get me wrong, Jason's got the opportunity to really change his fortunes and kickstart his career, but if Zelfa was to win, Joe Cordina wins. I mean, that that's an inevitable fight, isn't it, Sonny? Well, I think it's... Corners, it's kind 10 of, seconds! It seems to always been the, the trajectory for both of them. It's kind of always been the plan. Also, I'm close to Zelfa. Seconds also up, good friends with Joe seven. as well, equally. Um, but yeah, I think that's, you know, that sets up. If everything goes right here tonight, that sets up perfectly. Yeah, what a fight that would be. What an occasion it would be. But into the seventh round of this dominant display from Sky Nicholson. Back to the center of the ring, working behind the jab head and body. There's always a smile on her face. She, you know, you, you get the impression she really is doing what she loves doing. Yeah. You can see it from her body language, her approach, her focus. No matter what's happened on, you know, she's not looking out, she's not complaining, she's not. She's just in the fight. And you can really see it. And it's the eyes that that's what tells the fight on. Yeah, and those eyes are showing a, a very confident, composed former amateur star, someone who's loving their trade, enjoying their work. This is what it looks like when everything goes right. So Sky Nichols and nothing. Yeah. Oh, just leaning back, just got the, the that shot one. she did, didn't she? Linda Lecker. And I think that little smile on her face as well, she realised she just got away with that. I was very close. Maybe not the best tactics from the former champion to drop her hands. With the speed and the accuracy that Sky Nicholson has. Linda Lecker trying to throw a couple of shots but taking on the gloves. I think Sky Nicholson who just springs out of range every time she's put her foot down. As you see there, Linda Lecker, she lets her hands go. Sky's just not there to be hit. And I think we see, you know, she's trying to edge back here a little bit, Linda Lecker. She's trying to get that little bit further away from the lever, which I think is the right thing to do. I think if you can't get into someone that's taller, make them come over their front foot. 
but she's just trying to ride the shots a little bit. And then when she goes close now, she's trying to, you know, squeeze a little bit more and be a bit more yeah. tight. But right now it is frustrating for her because she is trying different things. She is showing different bows to the string, but she's just not good enough for me yeah. right now. And good Sky work. is every bit of good enough, yeah. probably, for the world honours that you asked around before. Yeah, boxing nicely, really forcing Linda Lecker into a blue corner there, unloading. And obviously that's a world champion. Shot. Obviously that's a world champion. And, and, and yeah. a we'll have to, we, we can, we can give that, we? We can <laughs> that card out. You know? and I mean, everyone's going to be world champion in boxing, as you know. But, you know what I mean? When some people say it. <laughs> yeah, we, we carry clout, Sonny, I agree. That's Cheers, it. Oh, I'll give you that 20 quid in a minute. Yeah, no worries, no worries. But yeah, another good round. Another good round. Seconds out, into the final round. Well, here we are, into the final round. A very good, positive, dominant display from Australian Sky Nicholson. Coming at this contest, 6-0. She picks up the Commonwealth title, the WBC silver title, and I'm pretty sure after this one, Sunny, she'll be knocking on the door, asking for more big fights. Well, where would you take her next? I mean, that Raven Chapman, the fight, that fight um, seems a great fight. Is it a bit too early? But is it? Is it not? Um, that could push on to a world title. Are they going to meet themselves there? But, you know, that's that's already another interesting fight that's sort of been made of half made in front of us with, the, you know, the mutual opponents, etc. So, yeah, there's that maybe in the intermediate. And then obviously at the top end, there is Serrano as um, is Serrano undisputed, or is there more than one uh, champion in that way? For me, I think I'm pretty sure she holds all the marbles yeah. in the division. Good body shot, though. She felt that. Linda Lecker felt that body shot there from Sky. I think. Also an opportunity, you know, where she does hold the two titles. She's got the Commonwealth title, the WBC silver title. But back in Australia, there is a fight 7 0. Rebecca Hawker, also from Queensland, so that could set up a good defense of the Commonwealth title. All unbeaten Australian affair. I would like to see, sorry, I'd like to see the referee say something about the shots behind the back of the head and the back there, I think, um, personally. Missing wildly, Lecker with that right hook. Again, those long levers. Sky Nicholson finding the target. Got no Sky she got away, caught, yeah, with a left hook. And that's why we say we don't throw big punches out of range. <laughs> Working the body well, closing the show. In style, both these females She's left it far too late. Missing with a big, wide, wild right hook. Linda Lecker, the former world champion. She smiles. They walk back to her red corner. There's a big smile on the face of Sky Nicholson and trainer Eddie Lamb and the rest of the, the lads in the corner. That was a very good display from Sky Nicholson. And I don't want to be harsh, but it felt like it took pretty much every second of that eight round to take a clean shot for Sky then um, from Linda Lecker. I think she was start to finish absolutely control when she did get caught with that shot. The last 10, 15 seconds was probably the best guy we've seen in the ring. Yeah. I mean, but there isn't much more other than the stoppage, but you know, if that comes, it comes. There's not much more you could want from that performance from Sky Nicholson, is there, Sally? Yeah, and obviously you're speaking to the right person about not getting stoppages, <laughs> Darren, you know what I mean? We go the distance all the time. <laughs> his performance you know I, i'm sure there will be tougher tests but the way she fights sky she does have a knack of just keeping fighters at bay and at range and at her will and that was a very good performance and our mc david diamante is ready with what i'm assuming will be a formality he has a scorecard let's hand over to our mc Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds here in Cardiff, Wales, we go to referee Chris Jones' scorecard. It reads 80 to 72 for your winner. She's still undefeated, Sky Nicholson. Yeah, 
for Scott Nicholson, rightly so. An absolute shutout win 